In this video, I'm talking about looking in the mirror because that's the only competition you have. So are you in business at the moment or are you setting up a business? Are you finding that you are watching everybody else? You're looking at your competition. You may even be doing target market research and you find yourself on your competition's website and you're only doing a little bit of research, but you find yourself still there looking at everything. You're looking at their designs, their fonts, their colors, their sales, um, what they're offering, what their packages have, you know, all the prices on all the products. Um, and services that they offer, you know, it, it, stop. You need to stop. The only competition you have is yourself. And the best piece of advice I've ever been given is be creative. Just be you. Because everyone else is taken. So just be you and be creative. Because everyone else is too busy doing their thing. You should be focusing on you. And you should be focusing on your thing because your ideal clients customers are coming to you for a reason they're not going to the competition they're coming to you so you have something unique to give to them so you don't look at everyone else as though it's competition they're not competition to you there's more than enough people in the world there's hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of businesses um for example how many airlines are there you know, just off the top of my head, you've got Virgin, British Airways, you've got, you know, Thompson's got their own, you've got Ryanair, you've got everything. There, there are hundreds of airlines in the world, you know, and, you know, they're getting people from A to B and they've got their own little, little bits going in and little different tiers and things. But, you know, yeah, they might be in competition with others, but you know what? They don't see it as that. They are looking after their customers and their clients, and that's what you should be doing. And they're focusing in and honing in on themselves. So you need to stop looking at everyone else, and you need to focus on what you're doing, because if you don't, you are taking all your time and energy that should be on your own business. You're just putting it on everybody else. And the more you watch your competition, the more that you may actually put yourself down and feel really bad about yourself and think, oh, I should be doing that, I should be doing that. And the best way of going out of business is to copy someone else. And to, if they've got a sale, you do it. If they've got this, you do it. And, you know, it, you shouldn't be doing that. I mean, it's okay to have a look at the competition, especially if you're doing target market research. Have a little, have a little look, but then honing back on yourself. You need to kind of draw back in and focus on yourself and you know it's you need to remember we're all unique we've all got so much to give to the world i do have five tips in this little quick video for you but i do want you to remember four things there's more than enough people in the world so there are going to be ideal clients and customers out there you just got to find them but you're not going to find them on your competition website there's also, also enough money in the world for you. So if you're getting money, it doesn't mean there's anything less for anybody else. There's more than enough money in the world. And I got that from um, someone I've been following. So yeah, and it just, it makes sense. Also, your business has no limits. So stop limiting your values and beliefs. Really, really think big. I always say think outside the box because it doesn't exist anyway. The, the, there is no box, okay? And also when you concentrate on your own business, you're gonna make much more progress because the time and energy that you are that you should be spending on your own business, but you're watching everyone else. If you hone it back in, you're focusing on yourself. So your business is gonna take more steps forward. And if you get that momentum and that rhythm, you are going to make much more progress. So now we're down to the five steps. So I want you to keep an eye on you and to keep an eye on yourself. So step one or tip one is if you do target market research, set a timer. And even if it's 30 minutes or even an hour, as soon as that timer goes off, turn everything off. You're not focusing on them anymore. And don't keep doing it every single day. Otherwise, you're just going to put yourself down and feel bad. Number two, I read this somewhere and it's true. It's amazing. Do not compare yourself 
as you're on page one, do not compare yourself to someone else's page 20. They may have been in the business longer than you. They may have different skill set to you. They may have different contacts and, and everything else. Um, and they may have more money as well. So don't compare you to someone else. The only competition you've got, and it's not really competition, is the person you look at in the mirror. Tip or step number three is to concentrate on your own productivity, your own creativity, your own work, um, and don't compare yourself to others. You need to work on the mindset and um, you shouldn't really compare yourself to work. Just because someone's got a sale on doesn't mean you have to. Doesn't mean you're gonna lose customers. And you know what? Not one business can have a sale 24-7, 365. It isn't gonna work, they're gonna go out of business. Number four, read wealth consciousness. This is amazing. Read wealth consciousness books and motivational books to get your mindset. Now, I have two here. One is The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles. Um, can you see that? I've read it once. I'm reading it again. I'm in the middle of reading it again to get my money mindset um, working. And the other one is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, there's also one for women on the, um, I got these from Amazon, so there is one for women. I'm trying to get it so that the um, light doesn't focus on the thing, but yes, this is an amazing book as well. So these two are two books that I highly recommend reading. Um, so yeah, Wealth Consciousness books there. And number five is always, always believe in yourself and your own work. Never think anything else. You can do whatever you set your mind to. The mind is so powerful and you're unique, as I've said before. So you've got to share your creativity. You've got something to offer to everybody and people are going to want that. People are going to buy that. People are going to want to have that. So focus on your own creativity. Don't be comparing yourself to other people and things. And you've always got to remember to put your energy on yourself your business, your creativity, and hone in on your skills, what you're good at, and your talents, and always, always keep moving forward. If you find yourself at a standstill and others are ahead of you, number one, don't compare. It's like that advert, that advert's just come in my head. But you know, you're programming your mind to compare to other people. Please don't compare to other people you have accomplished a lot of other things that some people might not have you may have different skills to them and everything else so don't as i said in a previous video don't be using your head to automatically start presuming things and already rewrite everything that's going on before it's even happened you don't want to do that but you can do whatever you put your mind to look in the mirror and say some sentences over and over again and get a mantra for yourself. Mine is keep going always. Whether it's in business, life, anything you're doing, keep going. So that's what you need to do is just to keep going, focusing and honing on your own creativity, your own skills, your own business. Set a timer if you want to quickly do target market research and never ever compare yourself from your page one to someone else's page 20. So I'd love to hear from you. Have you actually found yourself comparing yourself to somebody else? Um, it could actually be trying to, way back in the day, I mean, I don't even know it exists anymore, but keeping up with the Joneses, as they say, um, with the neighbours, like with the, with the TV or the techie stuff or the, the curtains or the car or whatever. You know, have you ever found yourself comparing yourself to other people? Have you ever found yourself going, you know, doing your target market research and you're going onto someone else's website and then you, you're there an hour later going, oh, actually, I'll change my font to them and they've got this going on and they've got that going on. Please don't, just do your own thing. It's the best way. So quick recap, five tips for you. Number one, if you're doing target market research, set a timer. Number two, don't compare yourself to your page one to someone else's page 20. Number three, concentrate on your own creativity and your own work. Do not compare. Number four, read wealth consciousness books. There's just two there. There's many, many on the uh, on the high street in the big stores and, and on Amazon. And number five is always believe in yourself and your own work. You can do whatever you set your mind to. So good luck with that.